Hey YouTube, it's me and I'm doing something a little bit different. I am in the car and while I'm in the car, I figured I would do a Whole Foods grocery haul considering I just left Whole Foods. Um, I know that people that will click on this video are obviously interested in, in seeing this kind of thing and there are going to be some people who aren't, but these are actually one of my favorite videos to watch are, uh, are grocery hauls. So I used to do a long time ago vlogs where I would include my groceries if I went shopping that Sunday um, but I haven't done that for a really long time and I just figured I have not a whole lot of stuff and I would show you guys so whoever is interested hope you enjoy and uh, I'll just get right into it really quickly because I am on my iPhone and I don't think I have a whole lot of room on there but the first thing that I got um, I'm also gonna have to pretend like I'm not talking to myself in my car right now but the first thing that I did get was a <laughs> rotisserie chicken um i get the herb rub but they do have one that's called naked that doesn't have anything on it um they offer organic chicken and then they also offer just a regular herb rub chicken um that isn't organic there is a price difference of i think four dollars so in this case i just went with a cheaper option um i did not get the organic one i actually had in my hand just raw chicken two packs of it to go home and cook just thin sliced but um i walk past the rotisserie chicken and I thought I'm actually not in the mood to cook chicken so <laughs> I kind of cheated I think rotisserie chicken's awesome to get if you're just um, in a time crunch or you're not in the mood to cook chicken you can use it for a whole lot of things so some things I use it for are soups so I might just throw some bone broth on uh, the Pacifica bone broth later tonight and um, you can just your chicken's already cooked so you can just kind of shred the chicken and throw it right in your soup and there you have chicken soup without really having to fuss too much with the chicken I also like to just stick it in the pan, you know, kind of shred it and throw it in a pan with some salt and pepper, um, some hot sauce kind of on it and just fry it up in some hot sauce and, and serve it with whatever veggies or whatever you want or throw it on salad um, or just make it with a potato. Just eat it plain with a potato, salt and pepper and um, some steam veggies. So there's so much you can do with the rotisserie chicken. Honestly, you can, you, it's kind of like a cheat. So. Okay, the next thing I got were a whole bunch of sea snacks. Um, I got the toasty onion ones, and these are the full sheets of them. And then I got the small snack size ones in uh, the wasabi, which I've never had, the original, and also the toasty onion. So I love the sea snacks, and um, a friend of mine got me hooked on these sea snacks, and I'm obsessed with them. They're really great if you're craving chips or something salty. Um, they do have a really sea sea taste of them i don't know how to describe it not like seafood but they taste like the ocean <laughs> i don't know i love them i love the t i love everything about them so sea snacks are okay my phone shut off so i have a feeling this is going to happen multiple times but um yeah sea snacks that's where i was and sorry about the sun going in and out um, the next thing that I always pick up at Whole Foods, and, and this is kind of the way I do it, I usually do um, like Trader Joe's for my produce because they have really inexpensive produce. So I'll usually do Trader Joe's for produce. And anything that I can't get at Trader Joe's, then I'll get at Whole Foods. Today, I just had to simply run into Whole Foods for one quick thing and ended up with a ton of stuff. So um, yeah, that's normally how I do it. But I do like to get my meats at Whole Foods. And Two things that I usually always, always pick up when I'm there are the Neiman Ranch or the Nyman Ranch uh, sausage. I get the spicy Italian um, uncured sausage, and this is what it looks like. And then I also get the Chipotle cheddar uncured sausage, and this is what this one looks like. And I like the Kentucky bourbon, and I also like the, um, the Neiman's Ranch chorizo. Those are my favorites. Um, I make them either, I slice them lengthwise and put them in the frying pan or I chop them up into little uh, circular medallions and fry them on each side. Um, fix them with a side dish, throw them into pasta, uh, stick them in soup. You can do anything with them. This is my favorite sausage though, just because it is uh, no antibiotics, no hormones, no byproducts of animals, uh, just really good quality. So love those. Um, two things that I grabbed that are kind of like cheaty things or sweet things um, are the surf treats. I got the peach rings and then I got the watermelon rings. Gluten free, corn syrup free, um, vitamin C is in them, nut free, dairy casein free, gluten free. I already said that. This is them. I've never had them before. Again, um, they were recommended to me by a friend. 
Okay, another um, thing that I always like to get at Whole Foods because it's cheaper than the Giant Eagle by my house is the 100% grass-fed organic ground beef. Um, sometimes I like to get bison. I didn't see any bison there, but this is what I get, the um, Nature's Rancher brand, and I really like to try to get grass-fed um, organic beef if I can. Sorry about the sun right now, but um, people are going to think I'm nuts. Yeah, anyways, I love that. Um, again, I just get it in this big, this kind of big square a big brick of meat and you can do whatever with it I make burger patties with it I kind of I toss it with some you don't even need oil or anything with it because it has enough in it I toss it in the frying pan and you can make tacos with it or you can put it in to meatballs or whatever you want to do um just try to get grass-fed because it is really good quality uh, and it's the best and I do eat a lot of red meat and so I want to make sure the red meat I'm eating is quality so that's important to me um, another thing that I got is a 365 organic um, mountain forest raw honey US grade A I've never had this raw honey before this is it right here this is just Whole Foods brand I've never had this particular I don't know what mountain forest means and <laughs> the only other one was the white honey um yeah I don't know what mountain forest means but I'm gonna try this. I usually get the Wholesome brand, just so you know. Um, another thing that I got was chocolates. So when I'm having some sugar cravings, I'm gonna go back to just, I'm not going back to paleo how I used to eat entirely, but I wanna get back on track. And so I need to kind of pull in the reins on what I'm eating. Um, so I'm just having a lot of like bloating and intolerances. I can tell my body's just kind of like screaming for me to eat better. And so, when I get my sugar cravings, I'm going to go back to eating these Tazo chocolate, the Tazo chocolates. Um, just maybe do like a piece of chocolate a night for when I get that sugar craving after dinner um, or really any time throughout the day. And these are my favorite brand of chocolates. They're Tazo. They come in the discs. And I got the vanilla in the cacao, pour, ca cacao puro. Um, here it is. Cacao Puro and the vanilla. They have all different flavors. I've tried the cinnamon. They have a salted, uh, salted, what is it? Pecan? No, not pecan. Almond and salted almond. Um, yeah, they're really good. And you can also, a friend of mine sticks them in, I think she puts them in milk. She makes a hot chocolate with them or like a sippable chocolate. But yeah, I'm going to go back to just a piece of chocolate. So I picked two of those up and they are a little pricey. Beware. Um, and the next thing I grabbed were... Uh, Driscoll's organic strawberries so yeah just you know I'm not a huge fan of strawberries but I am going to try to start making some smoothies and those are going to be good to throw in it also those with just a little bit of organic powdered sugar on them for a treat um, yeah those with a little bit of that taz of chocolate okay so the last three things that I got are inspired purchases um, the first thing is a Dr. Tongue's tongue cleaner and this is a tongue scraper, which I have used um, before. You know, you're supposed to brush your tongue, obviously, with toothpaste. I've used this exact tongue scraper before, um, and I've had another shape of one that looks more like a toothbrush with a uh, scraper, kind of like a plastic scraper on the edge of it. I lost this one, and I really liked it. So I was on Instagram, and I saw an Instagram post from a girl that I follow named Haley Mason. Um, her and her husband, Bill, right. They've written two paleo books. Um, it's the Make It Paleo series, Make It Paleo 1, and they've just recently come out with Make It Paleo 2. So I'll link all of their information below. Anyways, um, Haley and Bill are from Pittsburgh, so I enjoy her Instagram. This week she posted um, this Dr. Tongue's tongue cleaner, and it sort of jogged my memory to get a new one. Um, and so they don't sell them at my grocery store or Target or anywhere, so I had to grab it at Whole Foods. Um, also, what <laughs> reminded me of this, was I just started watching someone new on YouTube. Um, I forget her name. It's like La L'Amour or La Amour, Les Musique or something of that nature. I will link her below also, her YouTube channel. But she does a lot of stuff with like holistic and natural um, skincare and general well-being. Um, she's, she's very involved in that realm of beauty and um, healthcare. And so she did a dental dental hygiene routine and so the next two purchases were strictly based on that video the first one is desert and desert essence 
tea tree oil mouthwash, which I'm really interested in trying. As I'm checking out the girl who was checking me out at Whole Foods, um, she's like, oh my God, I love that mouthwash. It's, it's the best mouthwash. So that was pretty interesting. I'm like, I've never thought of it before. And now um, to from from the video I watched today and then this girl as I'm checking out, it was just ironic. Anyway, she loves this. She said it keeps, she doesn't feel cleaner with any other mouthwash. So I'm excited to try so that. CDs then, yeah. recommended the Dr. Tongue's Smart Floss. I think this is what she recommended, but that's all they had in Whole Foods. That's the only... Dr. Tongue's floss that they had. So I'm hoping this is what she recommended. Did I show you up close the tongue cleaner? I don't think I did. This is it. And then here's the Desert Essence mouthwash. Um, anyway, she recommended this floss and basically said it would change your life. And she's converted so many people to this floss. So basically, I'm super excited to brush my teeth tonight and floss and mouthwash and scrape my tongue. That is my whole food haul. Yeah, that's it. Bags empty. Hope you guys enjoyed this. A little something different, um, but really stuff that I enjoy. This is the kind of stuff that I enjoy aside from makeup and clothing and, and all that kind of stuff. More lifestyle stuff. So um, I love watching these videos. I hope you enjoyed watching mine and I'll talk to you guys soon. Let me know if you want me to do more stuff like this because I love it. Talk to you later. Bye.